gonna do an unboxing video here. Um, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a model train, and I'm not positive about that, but I have not opened a package yet. But the uh, package is not in too good a shape. Not been opened yet. Um, and uh, there's a lot of movement. A lot of movement in the package. So it's not looking good so far. I'm going to go ahead and open it here and see what we got. Okay, so the box, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure these are going to be the O scale brass models here. I thought the boxes would have been bigger, but I guess they fit in a large flat rate box. I'm not sure if, uh, are those boxes already like that or what, but anyway. So, let's go ahead and take it out and... It's flopping back and forth in there. So let's hope. That it's not completely destroyed. Yeah, you see. Oh boy. Wow. You see that? That is from the top. Of the model. Hitting the top lid of the box during shipping <laughs> whoa boy now see this is the original wrapping paper but there's way too much room in here for the model to move around and this is not going to be good here you see this this is not packaged properly at all um, look at see it's just flopping around in there this happened during shipping so we got damage here. This was not the fault of the postal service because this is inside the, the model box. So let's see what we got here. You can see it's moving around real bad. It, yeah, maybe, uh, yeah, I mean, well, we'll, we'll see here. <laughs> let's get it out. Let's take it out here. It's heavy. Oh boy. Okay, so, so here we got uh, severely bent that, that's severe, that got severely bent in shipping, and again this is not the fault of the postal service at all, I mean I saw that uh, this was insured, but the postal service would not honor this because it wasn't packaged properly by the shipper. So I'm going to need a partial refund. I'm going to keep these and I'm going to need a partial refund. So now even if this doesn't show a whole lot of damage, this thing got shook around violently. The, who knows the insides, you know, the engine. There's a whole bunch of stuff in the inside like the motor and everything. So. There's a little bit of visible damage like that bent that, but who knows the extent of everything that happened during shipping. Luckily the design of the model is such that it's not a type that would get damaged real easily in shipping, but so anyway, we got a, this got shredded in shipping because of the jackhammering of the model. And we got a little bit of pieces there, the bell came off. So anyway, now let's look at the next one. Let's look at the next one. Alrighty. 
And again, you see signs of the top of the model hitting the top lid of the box during shipping. Never a good thing. And similar, similarly, the you can see how this little panograph got completely destroyed. And uh, the bell got popped off and looks like it's dented a little bit there. Has this one got any dents on the roof? Anyway, so let's go ahead and get it out. Same deal, the original wrappings is obviously not enough to secure the model in this box. See, there's way too much room. You can see where the model hit the box there. It hit it on the lid here. See that? I mean, that's look at that. That is horrible. This happened during shipping. So, let's get this one out. And again, very heavy. And the heavier a model is, the worse it is if it's not secure in shipping because it's just like. <laughs> anyway, so you see a bent, pretty badly bent roof there. Damage. And. Uh, See, this got bent in a little bit, the cow catcher, and uh, yeah, just generally beat up, this stuff got real beat up in shipping, I mean, who knows how many times up and down and left and right, these things jostled around, you know, so it's, <laughs> it's a shame, but, so yeah, gonna need partial refund here for the, uh, the shipping mistake, so there, there's the video of that.